So it's another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. Today our lesson is going to be on a linear graph, how to draw a linear graph and then using the graph to find missing values. Then before that, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, can you subscribe to the channel and put on the notification button for more. So our question today is copy and complete the table of values for the relation y is equal to 2x minus 1 for the interval negative 2 less or equal to x which is less or equal to 3. So we have the relation y is equal to 2x minus 1. Now looking through the table you realize that some places are not filled so we have to find the values and complete the table. Now the first one here we have negative 1 so you say if x is equal to negative 1 then y is equal to so the relation is twice of x minus 1 will give you what y so that means we have 2 into bracket in place of x we are putting negative 1 there so you have negative 1 then minus the negative 1 that we have there so which means that 2 times negative 1 will give us negative 2 minus negative 1 which will give us negative 3 which means that under negative 1, the value of y is negative 3. Now we move to the second one. If x is equal to 0, then y is equal to twice of x minus 1. So 2, in place of the x, we are putting the 0 there. So the 0 will be here, then minus 1. So that will give us 2 times 0 will be 0 and then the 0 minus 1 you surely get minus 1 so that means under 0 the value of y is negative 1 then we have x is equal to 1 so if x is equal to 1 then y is equal to twice of x which is 1 minus 1 so 2 times 1 will surely give us 2 and then the 2 minus 1 we are going to get 1 so that means under 1 the value of y is also 1 if x is equal to 3 then we know the relation y is equal to twice of x which is 3 minus 1 so here we have a 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5 here so on the table under 3, if x is equal to 3, that means the y is equal to 5. So using a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit on both axes, we have to draw two perpendicular axes. So OX and OY on a graph board or on a graph sheet. Then we are going to plot the ordered pairs and then use a straight edge to draw a line through. Now after that, we have to use our graph to find the value of x when y is equal to 4 and then find the value of y when x is equal to negative 2.5 then from there we have to find the gradient of the graph that we are going to draw so now we move to the graph board as we plot the point and draw the graph so we are now going to plot the other pairs so the first other pair that we have is negative 2, negative 5. So the negative 2 is for the x axis. Mind you, the x axis is from the left to the right, and then the y axis is from the top to the down. So the first number is always for the x axis, and the second number for the y axis. So we have the first other pairs, which is negative 2, negative 5. So the negative 2 here, and then the negative 5, this is where they are meeting. The coordinates of the Second point are uh, negative 1, negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3, we have it here. Then followed by 0, negative 1. So this is our 0, negative 1 here. Then we have 1, 1, which is here. Then we also have 2, 3, 2, 3. And then 3, 5, we have it here. Now we are now going to join the point to form a straight line. So 
So from the equation, we have to use the graph to find the value of x when y is equal to 4. So we are going to trace y to the graph, the line graph that we have drawn, so that we can find the value of x. So what we have to do is, you come to where the 4 is, this is the y axis, we have the 4 here, which is positive. So we are going to trace this positive 4 to touch the line. We are standing on the number 4 on the y axis. So we are going to project a short line from y to touch the line graph. So this is what we do. Short dash lines to touch the graph. So where it touches the graph, you draw it from there to touch the x axis as well. Short dash lines. So this is what we are. So if y is equal to 4, so 4 touching the line and coming down, the value that we have in between 2 and 3 is 2.5. So we can say that x is equal to 2.5 as y is equal to 4. Also, you have to find the value of y when x is equal to negative 2.5. So, in between negative 3 and negative 2, we have the negative 2.5 here. So, we are going to project from here to touch the line and then find the value of y as well. So, you stand here in between. Short dash line as well. And so uh, you touch the line graph. So from here, you have to bend it to the coordinate on the y axis. You say we short dash line. So from the graph, you can say that if x is negative 2.5, the y is negative 6. So y is equal to negative 6 as x is equal to negative 2.5 then continuation you have to find the gradient of the graph that we have drawn so the gradient simply means the slopeness of the graph that we have drawn so for us to find the gradient we use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 now with the table of values that you have here if this is your x1 then this is definitely your y1 if this is the x2 then this is your y2 so i will pick this as my x1 y1 then x2 y2 what we have to do is to substitute the values in. So from here we have the y2 which is 5 from here and then the y1 which is 3. Then we come to the x1, x2 which is 3 and then minus our x1 which is 2. So right there we are having 5 take away 3, we are having 2. Then 3 take away 2, we are having 1, which means 2 divided by 1 is the same 2. So we can say that the gradient of the line graph that we have drawn is 2. We can also use another method, which is the relation that was given to us, or the relation that is given to us that we used to draw the graph. We can also use that relation to find the gradient as well. So let's go and look at that one as well. So the relation given us in the question is y is equal to 2x minus 1. That's the relation given us. Now you have to compare this with the general uh, relation, which is y is equal to mx plus c. Now here the m here is the gradient. So we are going to compare every letter we have here with the, the relation that we are giving. So under this, you realize that the 2 is to m, x is to x, uh, then 1 is to c, and then y is to the y here. 
Now looking at this, since 2 is to m here, that means the m is equal to 2. So the m is the same as the gradient. So as we have calculated by getting the gradient as 2, that means m is also equal to what? 2. So the gradient for the graph that we have drawn is 2. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to the channel Menalize TV for more updates.